let's take a look at the integrated tool sets within Softimage 3D. What I want to do is start from a cube and create a scorpion using the four main modules within Softimage 3D, matter, actor, motion, and model. If I change the dimensions and subdivide my cube, I can start doing some powerful polygon modeling using its sensor tools within Soft 3D. If I select my cube there and duplicate by repetition, I can start to see how my model will come to life. By scaling these up, I can now duplicate one polygon over the other, scale it down, middle click. Every time I middle click on one of the dialog boxes, it will allow me to retain the last buttons I asked for. Instead of working with one, I'm now going to work with six. As you can see, it makes no difference. Again, showing you some of the powerful workflow within Soft 3D. Using my last middle click on the repetition, you can see I only have to change a couple of values like this to actually get the full effect. If I go onto the other side and using a ray casting tool, I can just flip it around the other way. I want to create the claws to the model, just select one on each side, scale them down, or again duplicate by repetition. This is very important, as you can see, this provides a serious workflow and ease of use. If I did, say, 25 degrees, boom, you can see how this works. Selecting the middle one, I can scale and move just to create the head. To create the claws themselves, I can go using the ray casting tool again, select these individual polygons, ask for the duplicate by repetition, and just change that value to 1. Oh, there we go. If I now go select the back, I'm going to give it a little bit more detail. It's still looking a bit boxy, so what I want to do now is perhaps affect a bit of rounding, like so. I want to switch over to the actor module now to actually create some inverse kinematics or a skeleton. So if I go into here, skeleton draw duty chain, you can see I've created one leg. And the inverse kinematics was first developed for a 3D package by Softimage, first to implement it within our environment. So there we go, just move these into the space I need, duplicate another one. I now have three legs. If I want to just flip them over the other side, all I have to do is go back to model and do some symmetry. If I now select a null, I can put these into a hierarchy. And a hierarchy allows me to, instead of working on all six legs, I can essentially work on them as one. Again, increasing productivity as well as workflow. Back into the actor module, you can see I'm jumping through my integrated tool sets as well as the modules. I can apply a skin to those legs. There we go, it's that simple. It's really the ease of use of Software 3D which provides such an effective working environment. If I go into the envelope assignment itself, I can just isolate those areas I want to work on, just the legs in this case. To bring it to life, I now go to our motion section. Cosmage famous for its character animation, and we'll show you exactly why that is. Basically, we have something here called Multiped. Adding the Multiped tool allows us to get this character to bring it to life. So it instructs me what to do. First of all, pick up on the floor. So select the grid. In this case, pick the path. Now select the body of the object, which is the top of the hierarchy we made earlier, and now pick the feet. I'm going to do this one at a time. doesn't matter how many I have, whether or not they're backward knees coming out the top of their head, doesn't matter at all, because basically it's done. You can see how it's moving. We can just grab the path itself, have a look at it, and raise it up. But it's still looking a little grey. So perhaps let's go and add some texture. So I move over to the matter module and go into texture. Selecting the appropriate one, in this case, sort of lizardy skin, I can now go into our paint module. 
And this is developed originally for the games environment, but as you can see, in, although we, we're working with a projection method, we can now convert our map to a UV. This gives us some handles, and we can now, if you look on the right-hand side, you can see that it's updating where I'm asking it to take its information from. Instead of having to do this on every single polygon, I can now copy that and then paste it to the rest of the object. Again, saving me an enormous amount of time, highlighting again the productivity and workflow. If we have a look at our final results, there we go. We can see, using all the four mod main modules, how quick and easy it was to bring this to life. Even though it's moving out of my camera, one final thing, going back to the actor module, I can grab my camera, add a constraint, very simple thing, wherever my camera moves, wherever the object moves, they will work together. Pan in, see the final result. Over the last few minutes, we've given you just a glimpse of the power, the speed, and the flexibility within this integrated animation environment. We've seen some modeling, texturing, and of course, very fast animation. As for the rendering, we have Mental Ray. Fully integrated, it is the world's most powerful ray trace renderer. And in this image, we've added some polygonal displacement mapping to the Scorpion. All of the exciting tools we've just seen are available in Softimage 3D version 3.8 SP2.